this is a circuit I set up to simulate what a refrigerator uh, control board um, outputs and inputs um, as far as the fan. Um, over here on the left, my power supply has a 12 volt output. That's going out to the fan motor, and that turns the fan. Now from the fan, that's the black and the red wire. From the white wire right there, you get all the way to here. Um, this is the input for the microprocessor that reads the uh, RPMs of the, the feedback. And so basically what how that works is like this. All right, you can see it's uh, 131 hertz is what it's translated to. Um, now, when the fan gives feedback, actually it gives four pulses for every revolution. So in my code, what I did was is I divided by four, uh, and that uh, enabled me to get to the correct uh, RPMs. And this is the equation for converting hertz to RPMs. So what this circuit will basically do is take that information, process it in the micro, through the microprocessor over here through the code, and then display it through I squared C um, serial communication to the LCD display. So here's the code that I used uh, up top, just to clear uh, you know the variables I need. Over here is where I have my LCD printout. That tells you user what to do. And this is where the the bulk of the work is being done. Uh, this is the RPM um, calculator, and it uh, takes the average of ten uh, readings and it averages them out, uh, so you get a nice uh, balance reading that's uh, that uh, doesn't reflect errors. And over here, I just have the uh, the printout again at the bottom. That's part of the printout, and that's pretty much it on the code. So some kind of curious I found doing this project is that uh, when the voltage is 12 volts, which is uh, the max voltage for the fan, uh, then the peak to peak voltage is 5.24 around 5.28. So let's call it 5.3 um, of the feedback waveform. But as you go down in voltage, the supply voltage, the actual feedback voltage also goes down um, as well. You can see it continues to go down as the frequency goes down as well. So now we're looking at 4.3 points on, and then it shuts off. So um, it's kind of interesting in that when you have a circuit that's um, getting feedback voltage of peak to peak between you know three and five point five let's say volts then you gotta adjust your circuit accordingly um, so well if you enjoyed the video uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, you know share it and we'll see you next time I have a video